Can I use a credit card to start a business? We're gonna answer that question in this video. Okay, let's rock. You're asking whether or not you can use a credit card for a business. And the short answer is you absolutely can. It's not advisable though to use a personal credit card for your new business, but if that's your last resort, heck, when you sign up for your credit card, you use your social security number to basically tell the credit card company that you're good for it. So you've basically personally guaranteed it. So they're gonna be fine with it. They're not gonna really have an issue as long as you make your payments, as long as you pay them back, that's really not gonna be an issue. But there's a couple factors to consider when using, say, a personal credit card for a business. And number one is your CPA is probably not gonna like that. They probably would rather that you take the time to apply for a business credit card so they can keep everything all in one spot and not have to sort out you know, your groceries and all your, your personal living expenses aside from all your business purchases. It could get really confusing. So maybe you have a credit card that you've got parked and you never use it. It just sits you know, in your drawer and you rarely use it. And that might, that might be the perfect credit card to use if you don't have a business credit card and you wanna get going. And the thing that really helps out with having credit cards is when you're ready to pull the trigger and you're ready to just get into that business, you've got, you've got basically money available. You know, you've got money to be able to spend. So if you need to start buying supplies and materials and things like that, you're ready to go. You don't necessarily have your checking account set up for your business or, or things like that, you have the ability to get money. Um, <clears throat> in most cases, it's probably best. And like I said, your CPA is gonna prefer, much prefer that you keep it separate and you go get a business card. But it's probably better that you already have some money set aside for your business. Because if you're getting into a business and your initial thought is, well, I'm just gonna get in this business and just start charging stuff. Well, that's probably not a good strategy. And I've talked about this in prior videos. You really shouldn't get into a business unless you're absolutely certain that that thing is gonna pan out. You really shouldn't get into a business with borrowed money. It's just not advisable. I've had tons of friends and family members come to me and say, yeah, I'm getting about, thinking about going to get an SBA loan for $150,000 or I was gonna go borrow 100,000 to get into this business or whatever. And these are people that aren't making a lot of money. They don't make a lot of money. So when I hear them say that, I have to respond and say, do you realize that if this business doesn't pan out, that you're gonna owe like $150,000? That's like a mortgage on a house. Most people, it takes them like 30 years to pay that off. And yeah, they're excited. They've heard about this new business. They really wanna have their own business, but they're borrowing money to get into it. And so it's generally not a good strategy to do that. Now, if you've got other resources or you've got money, let's say you've got quite a bit of money in the stock market and you've got money saved up in a savings and plenty of money in a checking account to where if needed, you could draw from, then it's more of a cash flow thing. You're just gonna use a credit card to just temporarily buy what you need, but you've got the money to pay that back. So kind of the takeaway from all of that is do your best not to borrow money to get into a business and bootstrap it Get your own money and your own resources in order to actually start your business. That's like highly recommended. I can tell you that there have been many people, many people that have gotten into business and have wrecked and destroyed their lives because they went on credit, because they borrowed the money. So kind of use, your, use this rule of thumb. Let's say you don't have all of the money, but you still want to start that business. You're like, you know what? I don't care what anybody says. I'm getting into this. So let's say your business, you've got some kind of a business that maybe you can start for like $10,000. We'll just assume that that's the price. Save up 5,000. Prove to yourself that you can save $5,000 and put that in. And the reason I say that is when you borrow the other five, you'll always remember how much time and energy it took to save that $5,000, right? How much work you had to put in. It might've taken you six months or a year of your life to save that five grand. So when you borrow that, know that somebody else, whether it's a company or individual, is loaning you that much money. So you'll respect that other 5,000. What I see, what a common, common misconception is, a common mistake that people make when they borrow money is, oh, it's not my money. Or in their minds, they think, I don't have to pay it back, right? No, you absolutely have to pay it back and it absolutely is your money. The only drawback is you're paying these people interest. 
If it was your own money, there's no interest to pay, right? So it's actually better, like I said, to use your own money. So if you think about it from that perspective, it kind of, in a sense, like in poker terms, we call it, 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 it pot commits you. Like if you're playing a hand of poker, when you've got money invested in the pot, you're gonna be more committed to try to win that pot. So if you're getting into a business and you've committed a lot of your eggs into the basket, right? If you're pot committed, you're gonna probably work harder and strive harder to make sure that whatever money you borrow is gonna be paid back. It's a really good strategy. It's some way, it, some people call it having the skin in the game. As long as you've got a good amount of skin, that's awesome. But again, I just don't recommend just grabbing a credit card that, that has tons of credit or maybe you applied for a new one and you're like, well, I got all this money, I can do whatever. Now I can start my business. No, watch a lot of the other videos that I've had. There's so many aspects involved in starting a business. It's not simple. I, can, I can't tell you how many people say, man, we just, I got the greatest idea, Damon. I, let's start this business. So, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, we got to register a new business. We got to set up a new EIN number. We got to set up a new checking account. We got to set up an operating agreement. I mean, you know, like literally all these steps, all this paperwork, and then sometimes they're friends and family. And then I'm thinking, am I going to lose my relationship over this person, over this business? I don't want to do that because I value this person's friendship more than I do the business. So I don't want to jeopardize that. And there's so many things like that. And then when you get the business all set up from the paperwork aspect and you get you know, your payroll stuff set up, all this stuff just takes a while. It just does in advance. Then you've got to set your physical business up, right? Buy all the supplies, all the materials, just everything. Create your company logo, your website, your email, your social media. There's just a million things to do. So before you just jump into starting a business, especially if you want to use a credit card to fund it, really, truly take a few steps back, take a deep breath and understand what you're signing up for. A business truly is not something you just get into and change your mind in three months. You need to decide that you're moving forward. Kind of that whole burn the boats, take the island concept. Man, if you're going forward with starting a business, commit yourself to years or potentially decades of your life in your mind so you know that that's the direction you're gonna be going. So again, can you use a credit card to start a business? You absolutely can use a credit card to start a business. Again, I don't recommend doing it unless absolutely necessary and do your best to keep it separate. Try to go get a business credit card if you're gonna use it for business purposes so your personal credit card is kept completely separate for your personal expenses. Okay, everybody, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it. Please comment if you have any questions. And if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me do in future videos, I'd love to hear from you. And remember, as always, keep pushing, keep pushing hard, and be the hustler.